I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I just finished watching Jeopardy, where uh, IBM's Watson computer challenged uh, two former uh, Jeopardy champions. Spoiler alert, the computer won. Maybe this isn't surprising to some people. I imagine that a lot of people watched this and thought, uh, well, of course a computer is going to win. You know, computers are faster and, uh, and they, should be, they should be able to win, right? But anybody who thinks that just, just doesn't, you don't get how, how complex it is. The, the, the human language, uh, our languages are very complex. You know, especially when it comes down to subtleties, a play on words and uh, puns and, and, and all the different things that we do with our language. A lot of humans have problems understanding language. I mean, if you think it's easy, just ask yourself one thing. Why did this take so long? I mean, we were supposed to have robot servants uh, understanding our every word years ago, right? When I was a kid, we had the Jetsons and the idea that robots would understand everything that we said. And some early advances in computers years ago where uh, they taught computers how to play chess and uh, computers could beat humans in chess. That, that led to this false sense that, well, we'd be able to just uh, program computers to do artificial intelligence and they'd be able to understand everything. But it, it just didn't turn out that way. But now here in 2011, it's exciting because it looks like we might be on the verge of something new. Or is this just more of that false sense of progress that we got when the computers played chess? Only time will tell. Now, I don't know if you watched any of this or if you heard all the hype leading up to it, uh, but if you did, I'm wondering, were you like me? Were you rooting for the computer? I just asked myself, why? Why am I rooting for the computer? Maybe because it was the underdog? I mean, those two human champions were really smart. The one human champion had won, like, I think, 74 games in a row against other humans. And I like what he said at the end. Just before the end of the game, Ken Jennings conceded, and he said, I, for one, welcome our new computer overlords. And that reminds me of a news teaser that I saw just before the end of the game. It was the usual news scare tactic. It was talking about IBM's Watson. Will it cost you your job? They took our jobs! They took our jobs! They took our jobs! I mean, give me a break. I know that over the years, technology has led to a lot of jobs going away, but it's also always led to new industries being created. Every time a new technology comes along that advances our society, it leaves us humans with better jobs. You know, it was only really about a hundred years ago that most of us were doing hard labor for our work. But now most of us are working relatively cushy jobs compared to what we did a hundred years ago. And that's thanks to technology. So I'm excited. I'm hoping that this means we're on the verge of something. I mean, if the last decade was any indication, I mean, who knows what we're gonna see in this decade. And it doesn't have to be computer overlords. They can be computer playmates. We already play games with our computers. Just think of the kind of games we can play with even smarter computers. There were a couple of cute things about Watson too. He had a very pleasant voice and the way he bet was really cute. Humans will normally bet 100 or 200 or 300. One of Watson's bets was $2,127. That got a laugh from the audience. So I don't know if Watson was going for the laugh, but he got one. So how far away are we from having robot comedians? Come to think of it, maybe I should be afraid.